everybody this is miss k and welcome to miss k gone postal i hope you're having a great fuck yeah friday if it's your friday uh, if it's not your friday if it's your tuesday or wednesday god jesus i'm so sorry for you but it's miss k's friday and i hope for the rest of you guys it's y'all friday so i just wanted to come and say hey 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 i hope we all making it through peak i hope some of y'all not too tired i hope y'all counting them coins on your check so we can make this money baby but anyway <clears throat> now listen i wanted to come and give y'all some information in regards to <clears throat> y'all a couple of things that are happening across the country in regards to um, evaluations of pdncs and the uncertainties with the sdcs so you remember my last video i discussed with you guys about how the sdcs their uncertainties with those the picking of the facilities um the you know lack of logistics also you know them moving further away from the community they serve um and then also too remember i mentioned to you guys in regards to what was going on in knoxville um, in regards to the town hall meeting that they had for that particular PDNC um, of them being evaluated to determine if they're going to close it, if they're going to merge it, what they're going to fucking do with it. Now, there's been another one. And this just recently happened the other day. Um, I think it was last night, as a matter of fact, that it was happening. Um, so in Charleston, South Carolina, they actually had the local union there and the AFL-CIO actually have what they call an informational picketing get it informational picketing so what they did was they picketed but they provided information <laughs> y'all get it they slick it in a can of motherfucking oil that's some slick at that's some slick shit look i give it to them that was real slick so what they're doing in um charleston they're evaluating that particular um, processing and distribution center in that area to determine if they're going to close it merge it because they're actually thinking about moving it um, closing it and moving to West Virginia to another facility and merging everything together <clears throat> so what they did was they had an informational picketing I'm gonna read y'all some of this because you know how Miss K got to put on her readers because y'all got it mm. so listen 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 y'all so what had happened is so the local representatives joined members of the American Postal Workers Union their local is 133, and they address concerns and spread the word about potential cutbacks and changes in operations to come in Charleston's Postal Processing Center. So the union, along with the AFL-CIO, had an informational um, picketing event at the post office downtown last night. So it was held in regards to the fact that the Postal Service is reviewing the center, um, the, the, un work that's on the unexpected impact um, of the movement, um, what it's going to cost to the, to the community as far as delay of mail. Remember, we also distribute and process um, medications for people in the area, everything, jobs, moving outside of the 50 mile radius. Um, because remember, at some facilities, depending on your um, local union, whatever your verbiage is in your contract, your MOU, in the contract for your local, it may state that you can only go within a 50 mile radius of the location that you're in. I know for us in my location, they got rid of that because I used to live way past 50 miles to get to work every day. So in some areas, that 50 mile radius rule actually still abides. So the workers are concerned with the fact that, hey, I may not be able to go to West Virginia, even though it's actually very close, it may be a hundred miles for them to get there if they're going to be excised to that facility. So what the local did along with the AFL-CIO stood outside with pickets. They weren't protesting. They weren't picketing. They were giving out information to people who regular residents in the area who were walking past, who stopped to see what was going on. To let them know, listen, this is what the Postal Service is doing. This is how it's going to affect your area. This is how it's going to affect the community. We want y'all to know about it. Now, the best part about it is the information that they were passing out, they actually had QR scan codes on it, right? And they told people, scan a QR code and you can actually go to this particular website and you can give your insight, your information your comments, your concerns about what is going on and how you think it's going to affect you and if you like it or you don't like it. 
Let me tell you something. That is the slickest shit I have ever heard in my life. Now, remember, you know, we can't protest. We can't pick it. So how do you creep cross the line to do a protest? Well, we're passing on information. We just want you to know what's going on. We're not protesting against the joy. We're not protesting against the postal service. We're giving y'all information that you can use. God damn. That is the slickest shit. I give them props. Them people made sure they read the contract so they can figure out what to do. And you got the local AFL-CIO. Now, for those of you who do not know, the AFL-CIO is the biggest, biggest, and probably one of the strongest besides, <laughs> besides UPS Teamsters, but they're, they're a union that represent a lot of city, state, federal workers. So just the mere fact that they got the local postal workers union got together and got with the AFL-CIO to hold a informational picketing that speaks volumes i told y'all people are tired of the bullshit people are tired that they're giving their voices or they're giving their opinions but nothing's coming out of it it's getting to the point where you have residents now who are actually involved in being vocal in regards to what the post office is doing because they're like, um, y'all been doing this slick slash shit for like almost a year. You think we ain't pay attention? You think we ain't been watching y'all? You think we don't see what the fuck is going on? We see what the fuck is going on. But let me go back to the article because um, it's some more stuff we have to tell y'all about. Hold on. Let me put readers back on. Hold on. So in regards to that, so they said that the um, they were also giving out information on how the impact is going to affect the area. And that a shift in operations at the facility could take some of the processing to Pennsylvania as well. So they said the union members were passing out flyers containing information about the transitions, the cutbacks, what it means. Um, and that they felt it was important that the residents, that people should know what the fuck is going on and how the transition may hold up the processing of the mail. They're saying the mail is already being delayed. So with this happening, how much more delay is there going to be? So they also, um, you know, did speak about the stipulation. I told you guys about the 50 mile radius that employees would have to move and how that would affect as far as, you know, if you're at this facility, you got to go to another facility. How is that going to affect the fact that I need to now traverse across God knows what just to go to another job if you're already working seven days six days 12 hours whatever and then now you're saying you got to go to a whole nother facility and you're driving back and forth that's a lot of toll on your body on your mind and on your damn spirit but they even also you know were able to give more insight in regards to the post office that UPS should be more transparent and forthright when they're conducting these reviews. And they feel that there's a lot of confusion going on that employees and residents aren't getting the full information. So they were saying that the facility processes mail from Clarksburg, which is in uh, West Virginia, as well as, as in um, Southwestern Virginia and Southeastern Kentucky. So this is going to affect a lot of areas and in that particular area, if you know anything about West Virginia, Kentucky, you know, there are not a lot of industrial jobs anymore. Those jobs don't exist. So the post office is actually keeping food on people's tables and providing businesses in that area money to keep moving because these postal workers are putting back into the community. <laughs> Listen, I keep telling y'all, y'all not listening to me. The movement of these facilities, of PDNCs closing or merging with bigger facilities or moving it across to maybe five miles down the road, 
may seem minute and small, but it's really not. It's actually a big deal and it affects a lot of people. And it also affects the delivery of mail. If you got someone's grandmother who's 75 years old, who literally lives down the street from a station or a processing plant and gets their medicine like this, and now you're telling them that station, that processing plant is not going to close or merge with another one that's 15 miles down the road. Yes, she'll still get her medicine, but you're delaying it. Instead of her getting it on Tuesday, maybe she'll get it on Thursday. You get what I'm saying? It's a snowball effect, and it's something that we really, really need to see how the fuck this affects it's a it's a domino effect it's like one and everything falls and we all know the fucking post office don't plan nothing properly they don't give a fuck about shit so that being said i'm still hyped up on the fact that they did an informational fucking picketing hyped 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 i ain't telling y'all what to do but I ain't telling y'all what not to do because that fucking shit right there was genius. But also, they're going to have another meeting, I think, on Saturday or Sunday. Um, and postal workers and community are invited to that one and they're going to discuss. And this is the the, un the local union and the AFL-CIO. This is no has no representation from the post office whatsoever because they don't give a fuck. So right now, whether or not you know it, there are people coming into your facility and they do evaluations and they're looking at the flow of mail, the movement of mail, and they're trying to see, is that particular facility still worth open, keeping open or should we merge it with something else? These decisions are being made and these people are right in your fucking face and you don't even know who they are and you won't know till it's too late. But guess what? I give that fucking local up there <laughs> two motherfucking thumbs up. Because they said, oh, so y'all want to do this? Let us do this. Let's get the people involved in regards to what's going on. And told them, hey, voice your fucking concerns. And also, too, there have been a lot of local unions who have been writing, pinning letters to DeJoy about what's going on in their particular area. Because he hasn't been vocal and he hasn't said shit. He's just sending his minions down to address you peons of what's going on. But I don't know. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just saying. Y'all better get on board. Miss Kate done told y'all. I'm I'm saying the same shit over and fucking over again. And y'all still ain't getting it. But whatever. Just letting y'all know. But check it out. It is an article. Um, you're gonna have to find it. I think it's um just put local informational picketing. And it should be in the West Virginia news. Look it up. I'm telling you. These people are serious. And they're going about it in the right way. In the right way. They're making sure that they don't violate contract. But they're making sure their voices are heard. And that's what we need to be doing. Stop sitting back talking shit. Make your fucking voice heard. Anyway. So Miss K finna get out of here and skedaddle. <laughs> I got to go. But you know, I love all my postal freaks. And always, always remember, Miss K always give you information you can use and share so that you can give it to other postal freaks and who and non-postal freaks if they're not a postal freak and let them know what's going on so that we as a whole community of workers know what's going on with each and every one of us in different locations. All right? All right. So always remember my postal freaks. Love and light. Peace.